everybody we are back to play more of Desiderata Valley and we are playing the Asper family today let's see I have no idea whose cat this is it's not ours but we have a stray cat in our yard let's see what everybody's up to okay it looks like everybody is asleep actually so we left everybody sleeping oh she's gonna need to use the bathroom very soon. Okay, so we're gonna have her get up, use the bathroom, take a bath. What is today? Wednesday? Okay, so she's gonna have school. Oh, you know what? I think she leaves her homework over at Grandpa's house. I swear. Yep, there it is. Alright, then she's gonna go do her homework. Because clearly she did not. And let's see. Victor goes to work at 9. Oh, jeez. Okay, so she's going to be going to work at 7. So we're going to need her to get up, use the bathroom, take a shower, serve some food. Wait, is it her? Okay, she does have cooking. Okay, so yes, it's her. She's got the cooking skill. Oh, she wants to buy a vacation home. Maybe we should do that. Oh, wait. She just re-rolled that. Never mind. Oh my gosh. He needs so many skills. Yikes. Alright, well, he wants to play with the puppy. And, of course, the puppy literally just went to bed. Oh. <sighs> Why does that always work out that way with pets? I swear. And all the bathrooms are occupied. Alright, you know what? He can go in here with his wife. Oh wait! Puppy's back awake. Let's go play with the puppy once he's done using the bathroom. Oh no! They're out of groceries. Hmm. Let's see. They should have leftovers of some sort. I love how she just picked up the baby and handed it to him just for no apparent reason. Although, why don't you feed the baby a bottle? And then you can put the baby away. He wants to catch fireflies and butterflies. However, it is winter, so I don't see that happening. Okay. There we go. Let me see really quickly. Yeah, so his lifetime wish is to be the head of the SCIA, which doesn't really work for him. Oh, I never did pick secondary aspirations for this household. Hmm. Okay. Let's take a look. Wants more children, lots of lots of children, blah, blah, blah. He's neat, shy, lazy, playful, nice, okay. Hobby is nature. Oh my gosh, he's got a lot of points in politics, quite a bit in crime, food, entertainment, environment, fashion. Considering he's a family sim, he has very little in like animals and toys and stuff. Hmm. Let's see. What? Let me double check. What is hers? Hers is money. So maybe we will do 
knowledge. Because obviously he doesn't have the same ideals as her. He's a family sim, so I wouldn't make him a romance sim. And to be perfectly honest, I'm just not a big fan of popularity. Or pleasure. And grilled cheese. Those are just not my favorite. Alright, let's give him some points. Should I? Hmm. You know what? I think I'm going to. I, like, very rarely use super fertility, but his whole, like, bio is about how many children he wants. Okay. Now for her. Let's take a look. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. She loves her husband and her sewing machine. Something's missing. Try a new hobby. Okay. Okay. So, film and literature is her hobby. You know, she actually has a lot of the same, like, wants outside of she has a lot more money points than he does. Maybe we'll put knowledge as her next one, too. Give them a little bit more in common. Because, like, she obviously doesn't match family because she doesn't want as many kids as he does. That's kind of the whole plot line here. Oh, geez, she's got a lot of points. Okay. I guess, let me see. I think, there. All right. Now, they both have their secondary aspiration. I don't really think... Yeah, so, they both have their secondary asp aspiration. I don't think it's worth giving Grandpa one. I mean, I guess I could. Here, we'll just give him family. And we'll just fill these out for him. Let's see. I wanted to see... Ha, I do. Alright, let's see if we can get something... Traits, wants... Okay, let's cycle a lifetime want... Let's see. Let's see if we can't get something that actually makes sense for him. Okay, let's do golden anniversary for him. And what about her? She has the same one. That's so weird. Okay, let's see if there's one for maybe reaching the top of the business career for her. Because I obviously think that she is very much driven with her job. Or you know what? Earn 100,000. That's not bad. I want to see. Does she actually have? She's earned 5,000. That's quite a stretch, honestly, with her age. But I think we could do that. Yeah. All right. Let's do that. Oh my, okay, it looks like they're doing something of their own. They're over there making their own decisions, and that's okay. Actually, is there any... I think we still have wishes left, too, so we might be able to keep Grandpa around a little bit longer. Oh, look, he made a drawing. Alright, so he wants to reach maximum enthusiasm in tinkering. Which, you know what? I think what we're going to do, I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to sell this second car that he has made. And... Oh, it's not in here. Duh. It's in Hobbies. Which one is it? There it is. We're going to have him build yet another car. I think that would definitely help get him up to the maximum tinkering enthusiasm. Okay, what is the little girl doing? <gasps> no! How do they have roaches? Okay, where's... Is there, like, a phone? There we go. Can I don't even know if a kid can call the exterminator, but we're gonna give it a go. Come on. Yes. Okay, hire an exterminator. Yes. Oh my gosh. And 
and let's see. Go use, take a bath, and grab some leftovers. And she wants to play the piano, so let's go have her practice that some. Oh my gosh, no. You don't need to smussle. What on earth? What is that? What is that symbol? Did she, like, refuse him or something? I was not obviously watching. Okay. Has the puppy got food? Yes, it looks like the puppy has food. No, stop trying to step on the roaches. Go eat, I guess. No, he's not, like, super hungry. And what is the little girl doing? Oh, she's smuscling, okay. Oh my gosh, she almost has all of her creativity. I should kick mom off the piano and have her work on it. I mean, honestly, mom just wanted to play. She doesn't actually want to gain a skill point. So let's go have the daughter get on the piano for a little bit. No, I said move. There we go. Nope. Okay, somebody needs to take care of the baby. And, all right, Elizabeth is off to work. Oh, Grandpa's gotta go grocery shopping too. All right, go change the baby's diaper. Give him a bottle. And actually, better make sure we give him a snuggle, too. And then put him in his crib. And if we don't handle that, she just won't go to school. Oh, she wants to buy a ballet bar. That's adorable. Let's see. Where Where is the ballet thing? Okay, so it's a fitness thing. Jeez, where am I gonna fit this? I have nowhere I can fit this. You know, I guess I can go in mom and dad's room. That'll just have to do for now. And... Okay. Let's have grandpa walk to go get some groceries. Where should they go? Let's see. What is this? Clothing store. Gustav's Grocery. Okay. Of course, right as the dad's trying to leave for work. It's fine. It'll pause everything, and, and when we get back, he can go to work. Not a big deal. Let's see. Can you even buy anything from these? Why are they backwards? I might have to go fix that. All right, let's have Grandpa go purchase some groceries for the family. And they're pretty well off, so I think we can just fill the fridge. What is this? Oh, look at that. There's like a little jewelry stand here. I wonder if we should buy like a little necklace or something for the little girl. Let's see. Um... Oh, maybe we should get Grandpa a nice fancy watch. So let's grab a nice fancy watch and then maybe like a necklace. 
and let's see. We'll call that good. That's $98. do they have you know what let's buy grandpa some new clothes i think it snazzy him up a little bit honestly we don't do a whole lot for grandpa and he does take care of the kids okay let's see I'm trying to think What's something that he would wear? You know, I think he's like a pretty respectable guy. Actually, we don't want to try it. Let's buy. Let's go ahead and... I don't think he would wear... I don't know. One of these might be okay. Maybe something like that. And then... Maybe something like that, and maybe like a nice suit. All right. Grab some stuff for Grandpa. Okay, one. What is this? Oh, that's Sophia. Okay. What are these? Let's yes, check out these. Oh, it looks like these are video- they're bigger versions of the little video game. Okay, so I can buy My Sims, EA Sports FIFA, Spore, oh my gosh, Command and Conquer 3 Tiberium Wars, SimCity 4 Rush Hour, and of course, The Sims busting out. You know what? Let's buy. Oh my gosh, should I buy My Sims or Spore? Explore a whole new world of My Sims. It's your world to transform. Move to a town that has been struggling lately. With a little creativity and some help from the locals, you can make this place thrive. Or, Spore. Create your own creature and personalize it exactly as you want, then guide it through the fantastic world of Spore from tide pool to galactic travel. You know what? Let's go with Spore. Let's buy some Spore. Oh gosh, okay. For a second there, I thought I broke the game. Yeah, okay. Well, it wasn't a witch either, so it just kind of froze. Oh my gosh, look at it. It's got the little cover and everything. Did what? Jumble. You know what? We're going to go buy one more. I don't think I can leave without buying my things too. I think it's just it's just too much. I can't I can't leave it behind. Okay, let's go ahead and grab my sins. Okay, one. Okay. That's awesome. Okay, I want to go see if these are actually functioning or. Okay, I oh, look, you can see over here, they've got like some of the other games out. Versus on this side, you have a lot more of like The Sims busting out. Very cool. What about this? What is this? Let's see. Okay, these are the interest magazines. So, Rat Race, Mode Live, Highbrow Review, Young Sim Magazine, The Superstar Report, and Beyond Belief. Okay, well, we're not really looking to change Grandpa's interests, so we're not going to mess with that. Is there anything else on this lot? Oh, look, they have like a little 
a little uh, RC car area out back. knows how to control it very well okay oh there is an upstairs too oh they have a train set up here well this is such a neat little store and I didn't even realize it all right let's go ahead and take grandpa home with our new my sims and spore games Oh, they've got basketball over here, too. Well, that's such a cute little lot. Okay, we'll take Grandpa home. You know what? Do they? Oh, they do have a computer. Yes. It's over at Grandpa's house. What are you? No, no, no. Um, where's his? What? Why did his? Why did his car leave without him? Like technically, he should still be able to leave in the car, but it left without him. That's so weird. Okay, whatever is what it is. Oh my gosh. Look at the dog's house. How long does the dog need to sleep for? Can I? Oh, that's right. Wrong game. Alright, go shoo the dog and clean that because that is just Sweet. disgusting. I'm also just now realizing I don't know how many days until we have to age up the baby. Guess I should have checked that. I haven't gotten a notification so far today. Oh gosh. <clears throat> okay. Elizabeth's warehouses are reporting a huge overstock of Larry the Talking Llama. Elizabeth, on the advice of our sales team, acquired the rights from Alpacasoft to SimCity's sole distributor of the overstuffed talking toy. As the fuzzy llama was projected to be all the rage, but actual sales haven't come even close to expected figures. An opportunity arises to license the toys as the athletic mascot of the SimCity llamas. But at this point, Elizabeth wonders if she shouldn't just donate the stupid toys to the SimCity children's home and cut her losses. Oh gosh. Well, I feel like the kind thing to do would be to donate them. But I feel like she might lose her job for it. I don't know. Um, okay, you know what we're going to donate. Truckload after truckload of the docking stuff llamas are delivered to SimCity's children's home. It's far more than the charity can even handle. So they distribute the remaining stock to other charities and to homeless children throughout the city. Almost immediately, the news of the huge donation hits the wires, and the response is overwhelmingly positive. The donation proves to be the most successful publicity campaign the company has ever embarked upon. And the PR department issues a public statement that the donation is only the first of many ways they plan to give back to the city. Elizabeth earns one creativity skill point and a $2,000 bonus from board members. Yay! Yay! Okay, so that was the right one. Speaking of her job... Okay, so she actually does not need anything for a promotion. And she's in a pretty good mood today. So we might be able to get promoted. We'll see. Alright, Grandpa is getting kind of tired. So we're going to have him go take a little nap. And of course, that broke. 
Although I think he's got maximum. No, he doesn't have maximum mechanical. He's got a lot though, so he can definitely fix that. Aww. What is, oh my gosh, more roaches? I literally just got rid of those. Why do I even have a maid? Like, what? what is she even doing? What is she even doing? This is the second time I've had roaches. All right, call the exterminator again. All right, when is everybody gonna get home? 3 p.m., which I think is when, yes. It's when school gets out, and six, okay. So let's see, all right. He can get up now. <gasps> Yay! Oh my gosh! Elizabeth has been promoted to vice president. The corner office is yours. All right. What does she need for her next... Oh, wait. I don't think I ever finished... Oh, yes, I did. Okay. Okay, so she only needs two logic skills. That's not difficult. And she wants to gain a logic skill. Um... Let's... Let her use the bathroom and take a shower, and then she can go play some chess for a little bit. Oh, Pauline is so tired. Okay, call an exterminator. Yes, we need an exterminator. Oh, actually. Okay, so Pauline still has five days. I wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to miss her birthday or something. And, of course, Grandpa wants to work on his car. No, leave the baby alone. It's not crying. Oh, no, we lost a friend. Okay, well, we'll have to fix that. Yeah, she's definitely going to need that friend. She's probably not going to want to work on her skill for too long. Oh, and Victor is home. Let's see how he's doing. He's doing okay. I'll have him go use the bathroom, and then he can... No, what are you doing? What are you doing? No. It is the baby's birthday. Darn it. I should have known. I don't think I can use a cake now that it's so late in the day, though. Like, I'm pretty certain there's nothing I can do at this point. Okay, go change the baby's diaper and give him a bottle, at least. What is she doing? What are you, why are you leaving? What was that? Why, why did you get out of your bed to go over here? Oh gosh, poor grandpa, he needs a bath. Spent too much time working on his car. I'm actually, he's not that tired, really. Okay, um, go put him in the crib, I guess. And eventually, somebody will age him up. I'd like it to be Grandpa, to be honest, since, you know, that's his namesake. Oh no, we have a skunk now, too? First roaches, and now we have a skunk. That's lovely. Okay, I think it's gonna leave. Shoot, go away. Go on. Of course not. And of course, Pauline is up. Let's have her use the bathroom, take a bath. I guess it was kind of early for her to go to bed, but she was like literally passing out. Oh. Oh. No, don't do that. What are you doing? Okay, put the baby down. What the heck? 
It didn't even show that he had a dirty diaper or anything. Okay, stop. Oh, and of course, Grandpa's asleep and Mom is aging the baby up. Which is kind of my fault. I should have <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, he's so cute. Look how cute he is. Oh my gosh. He's adorable. That is so cute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm just realizing. Elizabeth has blonde hair. Victor has black hair. And Pauline has brown hair. Okay. Oh, I guess he's not really tired. Okay, so just let him down. He can go play. And she can go back to sleep. And he can go back to sleep. And Pauline can work on the piano. Oh man, she's got a long ways to go for that very last skill. Oh, look. Grandpa Lewis was so excited, he got up out of bed to see his grandbaby, who's named after him, all grown up into a toddler. Oh my goodness, so cute. Alright, let's see. And we gotta pay the bills, too. Okay, well, she's like halfway there. So we're gonna have her go do her homework because I'm pretty certain she did not. Oh wait, did she not bring homework home or did she do it already? She always takes her homework over there. Oh, that's weird. She like left it out on the sidewalk today. And there's a wolf rolling in our flowers, ruining our flower bed. Yoba? Alrighty. Oh, I don't know if we even have a potty. Oh, we do have a potty chair still. Okay. Grandpa, go take him to the potty. And then I guess I'm going to have to have Grandpa go clean this up. I don't know why the maid is refusing to clean up this particular pile of trash. For some reason. She just won't clean this. No, 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 no. Pauline, no. Oh my gosh. Okay, go go back to bed. No. Okay, go. What the heck? Um, excuse you. What? I literally just have like a permanent pile of trash that I cannot clean up. Yeah, we're not doing that. That is so not fair. Oh, look, he's gonna go stargaze. Stargazing out on the deck. How cute. That is so adorable. And I've got a toddler just kind of running around doing whatever it wants. Go play. Go play with some blocks. Okay, and I put Pauline to bed because she kept trying to squish the roaches. It's almost 5 a.m., so we're going to have... Mom, get up. What on earth is going on here? Take a shower. Grab some leftovers. And then we'll have the dad go use the bathroom. And also grab some leftovers. And then we'll see what they have time to do before they go off to work. Okay, 
Okay, she wants to reach creativity level five and gain a logic skill still. So let's see if she can work a little bit on that. He wants to flirt with her, so we'll, we'll maybe. Oh, it's Raven. I always forget about the little table interactions when they're not at a restaurant. But they work perfectly fine at home, too. Still super adorable. Oh, he wants to dance with her now. Okay, well, we'll probably have to do that later. She's gotta go to work. Oh, why didn't she finish eating? Huh. Well, whatever, I guess. Oh my gosh. My toddler just crawled into the dog bed. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad. I didn't even notice that he was tired. Well, you know, it's fine. He can nap in the dog bed. The dog doesn't even really use that one anyway. It's fine. It's totally fine. That's so cute. I love how she makes the boat fly. Adorable. Alright, now she needs to head off to work. Okay, we're gonna lock the logic skill because I don't think she actually needs another. No, she doesn't. She doesn't actually need another creativity skill, so we'll lock the logic want. Um, he wants to play with the puppy. Where's the puppy at? Okay, go play with the puppy. Why does nobody want to play with the dog whenever I click play with the dog? There we go. Have we seen Oh, he wants to see a wolf and give love to the puppy. Give him a little treat. So cute. Oh, he wants to be his master. I don't think I can really do that immediately. I think that's like an overtime kind of thing. But the more we interact with the puppy, I think the more likely it is that he'll be his master. No, let's make sure she's yep okay she's going to school don't want anybody to miss school oh my gosh okay grandpa when you get up you need to turn that off i can't stand that go use and eat some leftovers no so he's actually pretty good friends with the puppy well jack i guess not the puppy. <laughs> I'm terrible about that. And does he actually go to work today? Yes, he does. Okay. And let's give him a snuggle. Feed him another treat. Oh, never mind. The snuggle's gonna have to do. He's gotta go to work. And the exterminator is here for the second time. Oh my gosh, so annoying. I don't know what the deal was, but I had to just use move objects to get rid of that trash. It would not budge. Oh, jeez. Right, this poor kid needs to get up, and I'm going to get him a bottle. He needs a bottle. Where's Grandpa? There we go. Get him a bottle and then go empty the potty. Alright, let's make sure he actually eats some of the bottle and then go potty train him. Oh, our puppy grew up! Let's see. Oh, he's so cute! He's like a little 
I can't remember the name. And like a little, I've always called them schnauzer dogs when I was a kid. I don't know if that's actually what they're called. But look how cute he is. I'm glad I opted to get a small dog for them. Especially because I think we're gonna see if they'll have another baby. It does say that Victor wanted a very big family. Okay, let's put little baby Lewis to bed and Grandpa Lewis can go work on his car. There we go. And then once he wakes up, we'll see if Grandpa can maybe work on his walking and talking with him. What does he want? He wants to reach mechanical level nine. Oh, he's a whole point away from that, but that's okay. Get in there and see what he's doing. Oh gosh, is the snow getting into the car? Oh no. Oh, I see. Okay, it's shiny. Look, you can actually see a reflection in it. It's new and shiny because he replaced it. You can actually see like reflections on it. Very cool. Let's see how baby Lewis is. Uh oh. Well, out on an early morning hike, Victor comes across an unusual looking insect. Victor returns home and finds the bug is extremely rare and unlikely to be found in this section of the country. Should Victor retrace his steps and look for the insect himself? Or alert the professional bug trackers. Um, professionals. Because, yeah, no. We don't need some invasive species destroying the sim forests. The bug tracking professionals were unable to locate the rare insect. Victor feels horrible for wasting everybody's time and loses enthusiasm. No. I thought that would be the right thing to do. My bad. Okay, go take a shower really quick. Did the dog pee in the house? Is that what that is? Did the dog pee in the house? I sure hope not. <sighs> I'll have to keep an eye out. Okay, go get baby Lewis. And honestly, he's doing okay, so let's teach him to talk. Oh, no, he's so upset. Oh look, he's wearing his sister's hand-me-down pajamas. Okay, I don't know if that's actually true, but my headcanon is that he has to wear his sister's hand-me-down. Because he's wearing these cute little pink pajamas. That's so cute. Okay. Pauline is home. She needs to use the bathroom. And I guess we'll have her shower too, and then we'll have her go play some piano for fun. What the heck? Is there a reason that the piano is not working? Nobody else is trying to use the piano, to my knowledge. Oh, it needs tuned. Okay, go tune the piano, Mom. Oh, what the heck? No, you needed to go use the bathroom and shower. You know, I never use the pianos in The Sims 2 often enough. For me to really remember that they actually have to be tuned after I don't know if it's a certain amount of time or use. Oh, oh geez, did she not get it done? Is that what? She has no. It's a mechanical thing. Okay. So I guess we're gonna have to ask Grandpa to do it. Which is fine. Mom can 
take over say? and get a bottle for baby Lewis and empty out the potty. What did I say? I said empty the potty. Did she not get him? Oh, go get him a bottle. All right, Victor, why don't you go use the bathroom, take a shower, and Pauline can go back to practicing. No, young lady, get up. You'll be up all night. Who's that? Must be somebody they brought home from work, and I just didn't notice. Oh my. Well, I was gonna have them do that anyway, and since they decided to kind of choose to do, do that on their own, go that route, then we'll leave them to their business. We do need to take baby Lewis to the potty after grandpa goes to the potty and then get him a bottle. Oh, look at him over here drawing. How cute. What the heck? No, what are you doing? Potty train baby Lewis. Oh no, did it not work? I don't think it worked. Okay, let's try one more time. I think we had this issue when we were trying for baby Lewis too. Oh, it just like was not happening. You know, maybe two will be the compromise for them because they just seem to have some infertility issues. And so he might not get the big family that he wants, but he'll get a bigger family than she wanted. Actually, I take that back. Yay, baby Jingle. This will be their last baby though. And it's only because it emphasizes so much in his bio that he wants like a really big family. Okay. Now, Grandpa has given Baby Lewis a bottle. Honestly, he kind of needs to give Baby Lewis a bath, too. Oh, and Polly needs to go to bed. She's getting so close to that creativity level 10, though. Okay, so she obviously wants to make a friend so that she's back up to the point where she can get a promotion. I'll have her get up, eat something, take a shower, and we're gonna have her go practice her logic. And we're gonna let poor Grandpa Lewis go off to bed because he's very tired. And Victor's still pretty tired, so we're gonna let everybody sleep. Let's see. Okay, yeah. Baby Lewis is still gonna be asleep for a while, I think. Yeah, Elizabeth is the first up, up and about, which makes sense because she has the earliest job of everybody. And I guess Pauline's school is not too far off. <gasps> no, Jack, don't eat the car. You know what? I think his food bowl's empty. That might be our bad. No, go fill the dog's food first. Cause now I feel bad. Oh, and to the bathroom she goes. Yay, one more baby. Oh, what is he doing up? Oh, he's got to go to the bathroom really badly. Oh, wait. Um, Go let baby Lewis out, and then you can come take a shower and grab some breakfast. Grandpa is still sleeping. Pauline is still asleep, but she doesn't have to be, but she is, so. 
We'll just leave her be. And Elizabeth is working on those skills. Logic level six. Okay. I don't know if she's going to be able to get that skill before work today. That's really kind of pushing it. She might, though. And, oh. No, don't do that. Ah. Play Razzle. Play Fetch. Give love. We want to keep making sure that we are working towards being the master. Oh, look. They're... Yay, that works. They are Master and Sim. How cute. Okay. Oh, and I did, I think I, I did have Grandpa pay the bills. Grandpa actually needs to go eat some breakfast. Once he does that, I'm going to have him repair this bathtub and unclog this toilet that has been clogged for way too long and I've just kind of ignored it and then he can go work on his car oh my gosh look at all the Forward. platinum aspirations all right what is Pauline doing she can go eat some breakfast and practice her piano some more Weaver? and let's see roll over shake come here and speak you know come here seems to be like the logical first step when you're training a dog at least to me so that's where we're gonna start oh she did it oh my gosh okay now she's got to rush off to work um, her needs don't look great but i think i think she'll be okay and Pauline is just practicing mm. piano. Uh -huh. <gasps> she didn't do her homework. Oh no. Okay, so it's not where she left it. It's too late. Darn it. I forgot the homework. Okay, well, we'll have to make sure that she does her homework over the weekend. Oh my gosh. The baby is falling asleep in the outside doghouse in the snow. I'm terrible at this. I was too busy having Grandpa take care of everything that's broken in the house. I kind of forgot to take care of the baby. Oh gosh. Oh, he needs a lot. Okay. Change his diaper. Actually, change his diaper and then put him in the crib. And then go clean up that dirty diaper because I don't need roaches again. Oh my goodness. Okay. And then we still have to teach him to talk and walk. But while we're waiting for him to finish sleeping, Grandpa can go work on his hobby. Get that car all finished up. And of course, increase his mechanical, well, tinkering enthusiasm. Oh, he wants to buy an orchard tree? You know, they have plenty of money. I'm absolutely going to do that. We're going to replace this plain old regular tree with an orchard tree. Um, lemon, orange, or apple. Let's do apple. There we go. We definitely need to work more on grandpa's wants. Cause yeah, everybody else is in platinum except for grandpa and of course the baby. Oh, the baby's not doing good. And actually, I've started teaching him to talk, so I'm going to lock that one in instead. I want to get all of them done, but there's just no guarantee. Huh. Alright, so let's see. Mm -hmm. When is she going to get home? She'll be home at 4. He'll be home at 6. And she'll be home at 3. Alright, well, I think this is where we're going to call this episode. Baby Lewis aged up. I did not pay attention, so he didn't get a cake, but nonetheless, he aged up, and he is super adorable. Uh, we are almost at maximum creativity level with Pauline, 
we are almost at maximum mechanical uh, level with Grandpa Lewis and maximum tinkering enthusiasm with Grandpa Lewis. We are going to have another baby for Victor and Elizabeth is well on her way to her next promotion. So thank you so much to everybody watching and I will see everybody in the next one.